Okay, so we're going to uh, work through one of our acceleration problems together for those of you that are absent. Uh, before we start, though, please make sure that you read and looked through the attached notes on acceleration, just so we have down what the symbols and units are, what the formula looks like, as well as, you know, what exactly is acceleration. And there's a practice problem in there for you to preview as well. Okay, so Ava's treadmill runs forward with an initial velocity of 1.2 meters per second, four seconds into the workout, and ends with a final velocity of 7.5 meters per second, 20 seconds into the workout. What's the average acceleration of the treadmill during this time frame? So I have a time frame here, and so I want to figure out the average within my time frame. So I'm first going to designate what is the initial and final times within my time frame. So if I hit start on a stopwatch, whatever time would come first is the initial, whatever would come last is the final. So I have four seconds and 20 seconds. Remember, seconds is the unit for time. Four seconds would come first. So this is my TI initial time within my problem. Now at four seconds, we had an initial velocity of 1.2 meters per second. You are also given this keyword initial. So my VI velocity initial is 1.2 meters per second. Final velocity of 7.5 meters per second. So velocity final Use that subscript F for that, 7.5 meters per second. And then my TF final time is 20 seconds. Unknown is acceleration. What is the average acceleration? So we can use the symbol for that, A equals question mark. My equation says that I take the final velocity minus the initial velocity over the final time minus the initial time. So we're going to put finals first in the sub. So A equals, we have 7.5 meters per second for VF, so that'll go first. Minus 1.2 meters per second. All over. My final time, TF. So if I look over here, that was 20 seconds. Oops, started writing final time. Sorry about that. So I have 20 seconds here minus 4 seconds. So 7.5 minus 1.2 over 20 minus 4. So when I subtract those out, should it get as my answer 0 0.4 meters per second squared. Now acceleration is a vector quantity. So if a direction is given, I should include that. So here, the treadmill is running forward. So I can include that forward in my answer. Now if you notice with these problems, you do have the answer provided right next to it, so you can check your work as you go. Um, so, you know, do please use that just to check your understanding. A um, couple things to point out. Um, on the worksheet or with the acceleration numbers uh, for those of you that were absent. So here I'm moving on to this roller coaster problem. Roller coaster moves at 25 meters per second at the bottom of a hill. Three seconds later it's at the top with a velocity of 11 meters per second. So I have two velocity numbers here but only one time number. So in physics story problems if you're not given an initial time, then we can assume that this problem started at the beginning of the time. So my TI for this problem here would just simply be zero seconds. And the initial velocity then at that point in time at the beginning of the problem would be 25 seconds. Now, you might notice too this answer is negative, so going back referencing the notes, so you might sometimes get a negative number when solving for acceleration problems. So that indicates that either your velocity is decreasing, slowing down, which in this case, if I'm going, I'm at the 